again, we're back on the podcast. And today we have the lovely, the beautiful, the talented, the ever so wonderful. You never introduced me like that. Kyle, we have the wonderful, beautiful Kyle. Kyle Jay. You never introduced me like that. Hey, everyone. And is, we, also we also have, have a guest with us. Ah, uh, yes. Mm, yes. Um, right. Uh, sorry. Mm, what was your name? Um, my name, a lot of people um, don't get it quite right. Um, it is Chloe Trost. Um some people want to say Kelly. Some people want to say Cuckoo. Beep, 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 boop, boop. Some people want to say Kaka. Some people want to say Kaka, girl. Oh, just my, just my mommy call me Kaka, girl. Mm. Aww. Yeah. That's well, sweet. That's so sweet. Chloe, do you want, do you want to talk, talk about yourself or should we give you give a little blurb that we have not planned and then I'll pull out of my <laughs> fucking ass, right? Oh, I'd love to hear that. Um, okay, so <laughs> you're from Jersey. Did I make yeah. that up? Yep. The new one. Um, yeah. Uh, Jersey, from Jer- born and raised in Jersey City. No, 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 Jersey. I can't even name a place in Jersey. Because um, I'm Canadian, by the way. <laughs> I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm well, just Canadian. Oh, well, can you be both? Yes. I met a couple Canadians in my life, and let's just say they aren't the sharpest tool in the damn shed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's beavers. <clears throat> so oh, wet, where in, where in New Jersey? Jersey? Um. Well, I figured maybe you would know. Close, kind of. I know that you're from. Um, um, if nothing's coming up, I you mean, should because it's not that far away. I drove through it one time, like this. Okay, because you're friends with. Yeah. I'm friends with Dunk. With, with, yes, yeah, so with Duncan, who's Chloe's brother. Dunky. The world is so small. <laughs> did you, is that what you called him? I did. Well, I called him that after. So when we went to school together, yeah. he and I, he actually used to bully me. No, we didn't. And then one time I- <laughs> Wait, how, you went to college with him? <laughs> yeah. How old were you? He bullied me because I, because I didn't know how to play piano. And he's, you know, he's really good at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he bullied me. And- uh, In one, what context? One time I-, I Binked him over the head to kind of fight back one time. What, and it, what? It, it knocked a screw loose. And when he woke up, he was like, oh, I actually like this guy now. Oh. And I was like, your name's Dunky. <laughs> and so I started calling him Dunky because of that. Oh. And he stopped bullying me. And then we became friends. I guess that's kind of sweet if yeah. you don't think about it too much. Yeah, it was cool. Um, sweet guy. Sweet guy. He's very sweet nice. Guy. Yeah, I like him. I don't me know where too. in Jersey you guys are from. I'm so sorry. Um, We're from Hohokus. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Duh. I hear you laughing. Um, I hear you what? laughing all the <laughs> way over here, guys. I'm from that stupid dump town called Hocus. Oh, Hocus, yeah. Hocus Pocus. Oh, Where's oh, this Halloween? Oh, Hocus. <laughs> Wait, so I'm going to try doing one That's of these sound say effects. Say, yeah. say where you're from again, and then I'm going to hit the... Yeah. Um, so oh. I got some new gear, you guys. And I'm gonna hit the trombone. It's like the wah, wah, wah. Well, don't but tell us what the sound is before you hit but it. But we're not gonna hear it, is the thing. You won't hear it. <laughs> oh. Because this doesn't have a speaker or anything like that. I think I could maybe run it through a speaker, but anyway, it'll just be in the recorded audio that, that people hear. That sucks. So, where are you it from again? Is. Ho Hocus. <laughs> Actually, Wait, we did, we did hear it. <laughs> where was that through the headphones? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, Connery's going to have less, Connery's our editor. He's going to have less to do. He's going to have nothing to do now. I love talking about an editor during a podcast. (laughs) (laughs) It's awesome. It's one of my favorite things that happens in literally every podcast. Or it's a producer or something that like, you never know where they are in the room, but they're silent and they're, and they're like, Connor, is that something that we, is that the thing that we brought up? Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's the thing we brought up. (laughs) Right. Right. (laughs) Or like, wait, so what? She was born in 1981 or two? Connor's saying two. Two, okay. Two. <laughs> and I always oh, imagine Oh, then they them. chime in sometimes. Mm-hmm. That I don't like as much. Sometimes they're like this. <clears throat> like like two minutes later. It is 1992. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Such a prick. Just wanted to say from earlier, what you were bringing up, it is 1992. Connor, you're not on the camera. Connor, you're not on the camera, so shut the fuck up. Thank you. So New Jersey, ho hocus. That's how I say it? Yeah. And then- 
That's how you say New Jersey. <laughs> and then you came to, came to New York City. Yeah. Came to New York City, went to NYU. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I know everything. And NYU studied acting. I have no idea. I'm making this up now. Um, I went to uh, the Gallatin School at NYU, which is like, it's a sort of a beautiful song playing outside. Yeah. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Yeah, yes. yeah, buddy. <laughs> Connor. Also, it's okay. he's listening to um it sounded Tumblr like, Girls. It sounded like fireflies. <laughs> it sounded like fireflies that Michael's listening was, to fireflies. He likes it kind of like the, uh -huh. angsty. Yeah. That's Seven whatever. Every one's the same. Na, 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 oh, he's listening to G Easy. Oh, it's like no, a Tumblr that's girl. such a bad look. <laughs> He's trying to he's trying to squeeze in a G Easy while you guys are in the other room and you can't talk. You can't grill him. He's what squeezing is, in a G Easy quick. One of our first episodes ever. He, I, I before that we started recording, he was blasting um, Olivia Rodrigo uh, driver's driver's license, license. Mm -hmm. and he was and I like walked in. He was like watching by himself. He's like. I saw this video at a hundred thousand views. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and I said to myself, she's going to be huge one day. Oh, that's actually really sweet. It was very sweet. And then like later, like we started, it was like half an hour into our, us recording and we just heard him blasting it again. I was like, what is he doing watching this <laughs> again? Well, you wanted to be 100,001 or and, whatever. But it was oh, like, yeah. at that time it was like, this was like, th oh, this was at this five, is 14 two million. Months. Two, this oh, yeah. two months ago. Billion, maybe. Maybe billion. a billion. Um, that girl. So, okay, okay. So, you went to school at. Um, I, it, was, I went to the Gallatin School of Individualized Study, which is just mm. like this, like, hippy dippy sort of nonsense school um, where you get nonsense de degrees and nonsense grades, but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, it's fully like, it's one of those places where it's like, you, it's, it's only like 200 people per grade. And NYU is like just um, a monstrosity of a university. So, you know, you never know. Like people would be like, oh, I'm my friends at NYU, uh, Janice Klober. And I'm like, what school does she go to? And they're like, Wagner School of Individualized Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then it's like, well, obviously I don't know that person because there's 60,000 people oh, like yeah. her, like, or whatever. But um, this school was like super small. So you like knew everyone and like, I, w I would say that, you know, some some people's studies, I would say, were, were uh, particularly individualized to their sort of niche psychosis. But um, for me, mine was pretty, I feel like I got kind of like an English degree and the end study and did a lot of theater classes and writing. And, and then I minored in Middle Eastern Islamic studies. Whoa. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Wow. I did not know that at all. I yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. I haven't quite used it much except for, um, yeah, no, I haven't really used it much except for when people have used it against me on the internet, mm. which we're not getting into we're not that. Getting into that one. Not no, no, no. This is an easy breezy. <laughs> we're listening. not going there. I sent in the questions <laughs> I wanted and now we're veering off course. <laughs> and so after NYU... <laughs> Whoa, new guy. Oh, sorry. I, I just. <laughs> oh, it's when I talk Kano. About, when I talk about New York, I end up. Oh. Just but you like went to. You did into, improv at NYU. Yeah. I, I started to do a, my like third day there. I, well, the reason I didn't go for like theater particularly is because I just. I couldn't really stand by the time I was done my senior year. It was just like so overwhelming, like the um, the stress and like drama of. of high school like theater and stuff and mm -hmm. and just knowing that it's like oh man I'm gonna have to like be in a class of like 12 people who are like this you know 10 hours a day for for four years I was like I I think I would just totally like like my whole body would explode in different like it would be like torture I don't know that's really I that came from a really deep part of myself <laughs> wow. that I didn't expect theater school we get real do here that. Sometimes. yeah kind of and and I, it's, this is no shade on on that because I did take a lot of theater classes and I did act, did acting classes and I loved it and I and and I uh. <laughs> <laughs> can't learn that at theater school. <laughs> Wait, I watched this video the other day of this guy of this guy. Is that Hamlet? 
Yeah, it's what? actually Hamilton. Yeah. Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton. Yeah, what's that show about? Like, Hamlet and Buddy, they're uh, different. Yeah, nah, it's actually, yeah, it's actually from a, about a small town uh, right outside of Toronto, uh, Canada, called Hamilton. That's a city. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so, so I'm actually boring, Canadian. Yeah. Boring kind of show. I'm actually yeah. Canadian, so yeah. Can anyway, watch this guy on YouTube um, <laughs> annihilate a dozen Dr. Peppers oh, yeah. in a glass bottle. Do you watch that? I haven't seen that one but you know specifically, but, but I see stuff like that. I see it all too often. And Is it Shoe Nice or someone else? Oh, on, it might be. Is he a big guy? He's a big guy. Yeah. On YouTube or and on TikTok? And he's like really nice. Like he's, yeah. like he's totally nice and he's totally like, I'm not, I'm not saying that he's not nice or something. Right. So he's seems not like mean. a nice seems guy, like nice. but he's yeah. really so he's probably like, nice. He's like demented. Yeah. Well, Shoe Nice was doing it with like alcohol too. Yes. I, is that the guy with the really piercing blue eyes? Yes. That guy's You love me. him. I'm like, then no, that's my crush. Is that the that's guy my with like the crush. Piercing blue eyes and like the bulge. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's my all pass. Um, I was gonna say theater school. I went to theater school, or cause would you say you went to theater school kind of? Or like theater? Uh, yeah, geez. I mean, like, it. I uh, we ended up uh, uh, for Galton. You need to write like a thesis to. Um, you need to get in order to pass. You need to write a thesis, and you need to present it in front of a panel. And, um, yeah, like you need to have a book list and write this like long essay about your studies. And a lot of it ended up being theater focused even though I did like lots of different kinds of classes because I was like well this is what I'm gonna do mm -hmm. yeah 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 it's yeah I went to theater school and it was oh I was the worst version of myself mm. I was the fucking devil I was so pretentious and like me I don't even know if I was mean you could say mean I I was bitter. It was just like awful. Like I was 17 until 19 because we, we went through summers and uh, oh. the worst time for like kids. And then like, just like about, I don't know, at that time they were like, would give us hits, like what we could play and stuff like that. And then- What do you mean hits? They would hit you? No, no, they actually, they really didn't. They really did not. <laughs> what do you they, mean they hits? hits? They'd be like, they'd, be, they'd go around the circle, like the dean of the school and she'd be like, mm, you could play like, the funny best friend. No. Yeah. And then, or, or, um, an evil queen. Wait, that's what she told you. She told me funny best friend, ingenue, because I was like blonde and yeah. whatever. I'm the fucking gorgeous. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gorgeous, gonna say? amazing body. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, the fortune yeah, yeah, angel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and they like <laughs> would fully go around. And that's like so dated. Like the things, the roles that I've had in my life are, no one um, could even, I could play like a vampire hunter. I don't even know, like all these things in my life. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not, anyways, it was just awful. And it just, they would just get you in your head and kind of like isolate you. But then you're in, you're a teenager. Yeah. I I had some really like, um, I, I like I got kind of uh, burned a couple times by pe people of authority in the theater world in my life. Like, Funny, um, funny, like quotable things. Like when I was in high school, this woman was like helping me. Okay, so oh God, the story is now unfolding about like sort of the deep seated uh, like anxieties and insecurities that I had in order to not go to theater school. Oh, but, wow. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But in high school, I actually had planned on doing pretty much all auditions for theater school. And I won't, you know, the like Carnegie Mellon, the Michi, Michigan, like the, those kinds of places. And, <clears throat> and, um, I like had to prepare a monologue or whatever. And there was this like woman that was like the woman that everyone used to help them prepare. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and, um, and I mean, not to put this person on blast, although I'm not sure it'll ever get to her. <laughs> Um, um, she's probably listening. Yeah, yeah, she's. Oh, oh, I forgot. She posts about y'all like all the time. She, she loves the lore. She, yeah, oh, she likes God. the lore. Um, she calls face. Yeah, crap. yeah. She follows yeah. the narrative board. <laughs> what was that? Crap. 
Oh, <laughs> I thought you like. I thought you had like a low, long burp. <laughs> it's Kyle's resonant voice. That's Crap. what it is. Um, <laughs> this woman was like. I showed up one time. God, this is such a like teenage story, but it's always sat with me and there, everyone has these kinds of things. But um, I I had I played field hockey in high school and I was it was like I was on the varsity team and we had won like county championships like six years in a row. It was like one of these bi- like big things for me. And um, she was very sporadic on when she could meet with you. It was like you kind of had to go by her time and, and, you know, she's kind of like witchy in that way. And one of the days that she, it made sure that all the people she was working with, like had to work with her was the same day as our County championship. And it was like later in the afternoon. And I knew that that was going to suck because no matter what happened to the County championship, I would have to leave my team and then go work on this theater thing, which was the, which was the, like, that was my life in a nutshell was just like, you know, like leaving Troy one Walton. thing early to go to another thing, like leaving mm-hmm. like a dance, whatever it was. It was just like I was never fully there for anything because I felt like, oh, I'm bounced from this to this to this. Mm-hmm. And um, we There's ended a movie up- about this. High School Musical. School- oh, yeah. You're pulling a Troy. I actually, yeah. uh, okay, not to veer <laughs> off on it, not to veer off on this so hard. I refused to watch those movies when I was a kid. That's fine. That's not fine. That's, That's fine. so not fine. Why? I'll I refused, hear the rest of the story. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back to this, but I refused to watch High School Musical. I didn't read the Harry Potter books. I Whoa. didn't watch Twilight. I was like, I was like, I didn't watch Glee. I was like, I don't want none of this. Were you like, were like, let me read Shakespeare. <laughs> not even. Not even. I was like, I don't know what it was. I was like, I, I feel like my brothers were a big influence on me of like, I didn't want to be... I was just like constantly running away from being like the annoying little sister. And I was not going to be like, like, you know, bop, 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 bop to the top. <laughs> like I just was, had so much fear of that, that I was like, I'm not yeah. even going to engage. Cause that shit looks like dumb as fuck. And, and like your um, brother's, I only know, um, what did you say? Donkey? Donkey. Yeah. It's like cool. You know what I mean? He's, he's a, a cool he's a cool mm-hmm. older brother. Yeah. Okay. So then you. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you're so bouncing the, around. So they're... so I had the county championship that that morning, and we ended up losing. And I felt like, and maybe this is just in the story of it all. This is how I take took it. But one of the like winning goals I felt was a mistake of mine. Like that was like the last goal that they scored. I felt like maybe that was my fault, you know? Wow. And then, so it, like it landed on me in, in like a big way and, and and it really was like painful. And I left that, I was like so sad. All my team was hanging out and like grieving this thing that they had won like six years in a row. And we were like a better team than any of the last years. We had a better like, you know, like our our stats and everything, but we lost it and it was like just devastating. And um, And then I had to go meet with this woman who, and I like just hadn't prepared a lot of things. And I felt like I was dealing with just like so much uh, like depression and anxiety at that time of just like, I just felt like I was going crazy constantly and had like lots of weird breakdowns and um, didn't like it. I, and I started going to therapy in my area that was like really weird. You know, you only go if you're like schizophrenic or something. So mm. I was like, oh my God, something's real wrong with me. And, um, and then I went to her and I didn't have like that much shit prepared and I came and I was like, clearly had been sobbing and I didn't really have the thing memorized. And she was like, well, you know, well, I guess, should I change the names of these people? Change them. Okay. She was like, well, you know, Casey has her monologue memorized and, um, Dylan (sighs) has his monologue memorized. Why Mm. can't you? And I was like, I just like broke down crying and I was like. I'm like so lost and I'm like so How old were you? I'm eighteen. Oh my god, you're a kid. And I'm child, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I, I can't do this, like whatever. And then she was like, she was like, she looked me down in the eyes and she was like, you know what? I don't think this business is right for you. <gasps> wow. Where you at now? Where you at now? Where you at now? Does that shit feel Where you? you? At now? It was very resonant. Like I resonated with a lot and I was like, if this is the feedback that I'm going to get or like the quote unquote support I'm going to get in a room of like 
snaky type people for for the foreseeable future. I I just like physically can't mentally can't deal with that. And it's like maybe that makes me like more of a sensitive person, but it definitely made me a harder person. Like once I got to New York and I was like, if I really love this, I will pursue it. I will go after it. Like I'll not be able to function if I really, really want to do it. That's right. And mm-hmm. so then that's right. And that, I'm like, that's right. No, <laughs> literally you wouldn't do this if you didn't do anything else. <laughs> um, and, and then it was like my third day of school and I'd heard that NYU like comedy was like a big deal. And I auditioned for the first improv group that that they had auditions for like the for the big improv group, which is Danger Box. And then the next auditions were the big sketch group, Hammer Cats. And I ended up getting on Danger Box and it just changed my life completely because all of like all those people became my best friends and then out like branching out from that in that community is how I met kind of all of my current best friends and kind of the reason why I have my job that I have was because of like literally like the third day of college. Fucking crazy. crazy. Yeah. And that was cause the, that story was like you were in, you were in high school or 18, right? What? Like the, when you were like auditioning, maybe going to go to the, to theater school or when mm-hmm. was that? Yeah. And then whatever, not even like a year later, you, like your life just changed. Yeah. And yeah. and I think it happened like because, God, I guess this is getting kind of freaking real, but. <laughs> Let's you know, go there. We get real. We get real. Yeah. We get real. But then we laugh too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Best laugh wins. This is how my mom is so. <laughs> it's scary oh. <laughs> it's scary to hear like a guy change his voice because there are like wind pipes or like places that a man's voice can sit in that are like truly jarring and yes okay give us another come on another laugh, laugh. Yeah, like it can go just so deep somewhere that it's like gives you chills, and you, yeah you know use I mean? your like, like use a lo- your man like a lower voice. yeah, yeah. Like- <clears throat> Oh, see, like, I can't do that. I didn't that. have to do anything. I, don't, I can't do that. Uh, uh, like, that's it like the lowest. It sounds mm. like, oh, you're trying to make your voice lower. Yeah. That's right. Okay. But, uh, no, I'm loving the story so far. So just, <laughs> wow. <laughs> my voice is having a day um, today, specifically. Why? You know. We went to karaoke. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, sometimes when say I do less. karaoke. Shut up. We went to karaoke <laughs> on the weekend because it was Kyle's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. And so he screamed. May I ask how old are you or is that enough for the internet to know? 29. There's another boy. <laughs> yeah. 29. <laughs> well. Whoa. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good to me. It also pairs well with um, like beatboxing. Like I can do like a lot of like wop, wop. <laughs> Like dubstep beatbox. Wait, that yeah. was so bad. Really good. That was, so <laughs> that was really good. I think what you meant to say was really good. Yeah, I could do a lot of like, I could do a lot of. Wah, 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 <laughs> it was like, wah, wah, it was like wah, 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 you were about to. Wah, wah. <laughs> Wait, that sounded actually better. <laughs> 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 I don't think they have to cough in between each Holy noise. Holy shit. Um, well, uh, and then now, and your new job now, and your new job, <laughs> a new job. I mean, if you want to talk about, it, you can talk about. It. If you don't want to talk about, it, we can talk about fucking. I'll talk about my trauma. I'll talk about my fucking theater school trauma because you dodged a bullet. That shit is. No, mm. I would love to hear about that. I would love Fuck. to hear about um, that. Where do I start? Mm, my eating shorter or um. <laughs> I can joke about that because <laughs> that was real. Because you actually did have that. Because yeah. I actually did have that. Yeah, that's tough. <clears throat> and then, okay, I had one. Uh, just just because of. Well, it, it was my second year and it was like my la- final year. And it's like the grand, like the big musical mm. and- um, Pirates of Penzance. <laughs> I was in that. I was in that. I was in Pirates of Penzance. Wait, were really? you? Mm-hmm. What were you? Seventh grade, uh, you know, like pirate. <laughs> You're just making that up. No, I swear. You just said pirate because I. it's called Pirates I of was, Penzance. I was, I think just like a gen, like a basic- Gen Z pirate. Gen Z pirate. I was going to say a general pi- pirate. I was so that makes chorus? me sound like I'm like a general. Yeah, a chorus. That's okay. It. So you didn't have a This role. was in like seventh grade. Oh, so, so yeah, you didn't actually didn't fucking matter. I will say mm. we also did in, I think it was maybe eighth grade, maybe ninth grade, um, uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, mm. you know? And I wanted to be Mike TV real yeah, bad. Yeah, that's what every boy wants. I yeah. didn't get Mike TV. What'd you get, Veruca? Freaking Oompa Loompa. Yeah. yeah. Boy, you too tall for that. So, yeah. 
Okay, so who are you <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you're about six foot four. I similarly- Are you? Uh, no, six two. I had to choose between, uh, <laughs> I, I did theater <laughs> in, in my beginning uh, high school days and in elementary school. Okay. I always did the, the plays. And I had to choose between um, theater or bowling. <laughs> And I chose, I chose bowling. Yeah, that yeah. seems right. And now he- Professional he, bowler. I chose it bowling. All the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, before we move on, we'll keep going about that. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of rich people put a bowling alley in their house. I need that one day. And that has always been so confusing to me because I'm like, that's the sport that rich people will like- live and die on not not even like okay a tennis court outside or like whatever it's like in your house you the sport you chose in your house was bowling bowling i think it's just because <clears throat> you can it's also you know it's one of those it's not that expensive i would do like what really? about like um well like pickleball with a pickleball like side, but like uh squash Pink. oh that could be fun i squash is such a rich sport big time it is what do you guys think it costs to to get a bowling alley in your house, so that, okay. Like where it gets expensive is having an actual space for it. I thought it's the because you need a lot the space, but it's also the like the machine that, that collects much. the thing. You'd and think it would be more at least. Balls. It's expensive. It's obviously expensive. You know, I know the price. That's crazy, and Wait, you didn't what? even have to look it up. No, I know wow. the price. What is it? Because I've looked into it. Five hundred thousand. You think five hundred thousand? What do you think? For a, uh, I mean, two lanes. God, you so you have one, even, one, two, crazy and then you have the ball you know return. You got the and ball you have the pin set up. Damn, um, two of them. I'm saying fifteen grand each. It's yeah. It's only about. It's a little more than that because the lanes and everything. It's like seventy k. But I would have thought Eat the same. That. Eat that. Five hundred. Five hundred. I, I literally. I don't even think I thought about. it. I was like five hundred. <laughs> I think that not is, a million over a thousand. Hundred thousand is truly a lot like the money. cost of a house. That's about how much I have in my fucking bank account. Oh, so bitch, <laughs> sit down. I'm and Slurp your own cock. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm actually joking. I got five hundred k in the fucking bank. I mm. literally don't have that. We do freestyles on here if you want to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down and slurp your own cock. I've got 500,000 right in the box. I want my dream house with two bowling lanes. Yeah, call me Diane Lane. I got the frames. Crawling down the... Oh, God, I had yeah, nothing that I was that crawling was- down. I was like, why am I crawling? Because <laughs> that's how crawl- freestyle works. <laughs> crawling down. Um, so wait, back, to my, back to my That's eat. how freestyle works. Yeah, go back to your back to my eating, eating disorder. disorder. <laughs> Again, we're not making, we're not, you know, so it, this isn't the story. I did have, I did, um, it was, uh, anyways, a lot of, a lot of different pressures and was, um, not eating. I need to stop. Anyways. Not eating. Not eating. Period. And that's bad. And yes. Got it. So, hey, got to eat. You actually do. Got for to real. eat. I know that. For real. I definitely do. You got it. Yay. <laughs> and so. You got it. Oh, laugh. Shut up. I hear you guys. <laughs> I hear you guys. <laughs> laugh. I should add a laugh Just thing on here. Bit. I have Just an applause bit, thing. <laughs> yeah, applause. Applause. I have this one. Yeah. Hey, we're recovering. And we're okay. Yeah, everything's good. Well, you know what? Recovery, that's even a bad word. We, we work on it. We work on it. We work on it. Um, Every day. So. Now my, my story's like not even that interesting. It's just gonna sound like I'm bragging. Go for it. Oh, fuck a fine. God, oh, twist my arm. I, so there was Spring Awakening. It was the, was the big musical. And uh, they, because there was, I don't know, eight guys in my class and 20 girls, or no, or 25 or something like that. And so everyone thought, well, the guys are going to be single cast, and then the girls are going to be triple cast. Oh, God. So I know what so, that means. Which means someone will okay. It seems so, like so, maybe you don't know what that means. <laughs> so that means like okay, the role of Marta is played by Erica on Monday, Teresa on Tuesday. Oh, okay, I see. And Blair on Ploop Day. And Blair on Ploop Day. Yeah, we're giving her a fake day. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and so see, I wish I had a laugh track on here. God damn it. All right, next time. Connery. Connery. Connery editor. Connery. <laughs> That's his real name. Really? Yeah. yeah. Connor, Connery. Connery. The Y. <laughs> Why? 
We've asked, I've, I've known him for most of my life and I can't give you an answer. It has to do with a billboard. I know that. Billboard. Outside Evan, Missouri. I think that's why. He's the one in, yeah, 2016. It was the fourth billboard outside Evan, Missouri. I said, so, name your kid, Connery. <laughs> name your kid, Connery. And, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and they, um, Single cast me as really Vendla. No. Oh, wow. Because did they really? Bad. They actually did. Because you ate. I ate. I actually was like. You ate. I remember I would eat. Uh, eat. <laughs> I would like watch like three like Oscar nominated movies like every night. Like I was like stupid and obsessed. I was like. Mm. Which was your favorite? Oh my God. Yeah. Quiz. Quiz time, huh? I don't know, but all I know is we we rewatched Nacho Libre last night, and that is <laughs> not an Oscar nominated movie. It should hey, be. It, it should literally be. should yeah, be. Yeah. It is I so good. Was just thinking about this, like for a thing I have to do tomorrow. I have to think about like who were my influences. Oh, and I was like Jack fucking Black, fully. I love Jack Black. Jack Black. He mm. he, in He's specifically Nacho Libre, like milks and and. Every single line is like quotable and amazing, mm -hmm. and like the the mo like one of the most popular lines is that he goes like whatever. So and beneath the robe is the man, and beneath the man is the nucleus. And the <laughs> <laughs> like to think of that, I was like, that's fucking genius to like do that kind of like rhythm, and then and every single line, and then like. It, it, and even like how he kind of like is, speaks kind of like more modern in mm -hmm. that. I don't, also, I don't know if, I don't think he was ever canceled for that. Skadoosh. <laughs> He's the best. But anyways, that was my, yeah. uh, just needed to fucking brag. But anyways, no one talked to me after that was my, was my point. Uh, no one cool. did? No, the girls, they were mad. And they were like, but it was I end. get it. You pay fucking however much money, not as much as America, but like um, money to go to this theater school. And it's like you're graduating musical that you put on for a month that for the public to see, for agents to come and see. And then I get single yeah, cast. Single, that's crazy. That's so cool. And also to me from a, from like a uh, perspective of a director, <laughs> keep really burping this poppy is like we do it all the it's time poppy it's poppy is crazy it's poppy um like a, a, in terms of like directing and stuff it would be a lot easier if the main two people stayed the same and like you you know the people who were like the the supporting people could like work on it like like you could come in and learn different parts of the whole show incrementally and then cons conspire with each other to like I figure think it out. Cause there was, there was a sex scene. Mm -hmm, um, I remember. And well, this is actually really funny. And so we, we did like a private rehearsal for the, the sex scene and whew, my scene partner was hot. <sighs> No, um, we. I mean, he's cute, but like, there was no, okay. there was no vibes, and oh. so she, which is, I think, bad direction for to let like nineteen year olds go, just to, like feel it out the first oh. time for like a sex scene. Yeah, that's oh, so God. crazy. And he did ask. He's like, "Can I, can I touch whatever?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, of course." <laughs> and we like the first time, just me and her. It's like us, and then me her, and her, me and her. It's no, it's me and my my scene partner. Why is it a girl? Is a male. Oh, okay. Man, and or he was like my age and also a student. And um, the first thing he did was grab my boobs. So fucking hard. <laughs> it was funny. Like it was not like I was not like, like scarred. Like it's like it was ah. just like yeah. Like he was he was like so hard, and I was like, and I just went with it, and I'll never forget that. Like it was totally fine. Like very again consensual and great. But I like it was just the funniest thing. And you should never let kids or anyone just go uh, during a sex scene. Just go yeah, just feel it out the first time. I've, I had I had something like that kind of. Well, no, what happened? I won't really say what the project was, <laughs> but they kind of yeah just told us to like they had like a a uh what's it called. Con uh, oh fuck! I know what you're talking about. Intimacy coordinator. Con yes, yes. And because they conduct, they couldn't. The intimacy coordinator um, couldn't 
uh, coordinate. Couldn't make it. Couldn't make it to set. Uh-huh. Oh, right. Busy. <laughs> Which I thought was hysterical. <laughs> the intimacy coordinator could only do phone call. Damn. Is that not like a Seinfeld like episode? Of just like, so what are you guys doing now? <laughs> doing it, um, touching so- each other. <laughs> like I have to like have phone sex with her. Yeah. yeah like so, you yeah, know, so getting he's on top of me. So, yeah. yeah. Is- Male erections are totally <laughs> normal and natural. And if that happens, oh, just man. like tap out. Wow. That is crazy. Um, but um, was it sex it, or was it kissing? It was, no, it wasn't sex. It was like a hookup, but it, it was, and it was fine. It was totally fine. But it was like, oh, this is really like, if you're good at this normally, like it, that'll show on screen. And if you're not, it won't show. Right. Like, it'll just be like, we trust you to have had sex before. Uh, mm. Yeah. Right. That's fucking, I, and it's like, well, what you know, which you totally have. Yeah, which I and yeah. I could name a million people. Yes. I could name it and I and you've call done it. them and yeah. tell you yeah. all the things that they, they could tell us too. The dirty secrets. Yes. I mean, I don't know if yeah. they'll pick up, but I could try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then did you did the end product turn out okay? Scene got cut. Oh, see, I would hate <laughs> that shit. That would piss me and off. And that's another and that's <laughs> and it wasn't because I didn't it didn't have sex before no. and it looked yeah. weird. It wasn't because of that. <laughs> it was because of... Because of something else. Right, you, know, you know, whatever whatever is best for the end result. Mm. It, as an actor, I say, make the movie great. Don't make me look great. Yeah. Make the movie, movie great. great. And that is fucking selfless and what a yeah. team player you are. I know, it's so... The, the weird... I just heart- the applause yeah. when she said that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of weird, weird heartbreaks in this. Yeah, it's like a yeah, okay, no five seconds. Okay, cool. It's just one. fucking... All fucking this thing's pretty cool something. though, right? Um, um, yeah, so go on. No, I was just gonna say the weird heartbreaks in this industry that you're like, oh, you film something or you do something and then... Then it just... A lot of stuff gets cut. Gets cut or yeah exactly or like you go to wardrobe and all of a sudden they're like we don't want the character and you're like are you told everyone already like i'm going to wardrobe yeah for this role and then yeah. fully just they don't yeah 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 had that happen so, wait wait what so like you went to wardrobe and they didn't have your character then they after that were like ah, we're gonna get it out of the script <laughs> like you don't know I mean like you do a fitting what and then you just oh can't. God, I know it's so, so crazy, but it really is as much as that. And and I, you know, I get it from a point of view of like if you're making something and like th- you know, like thinking about it from like the top. If you're making something with like truly a thousand moving parts, and you know, one little little ant me is like really excited about their little job on the thing, and then you have a big problem that you're facing at the top and like things have to shift. You can't think about the little ants that like, you know, mm-hmm. that have their little moments or whatever, because it's like, it, like if you did like that, I feel like you would, it, you would kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like, you're right. I mean, that's it, why you kind of have to be like a little bit of like, it's business. Yeah. It's like, it's so heartbreaking. I mean, but it is heartbreaking because like, obviously from this point of view of, from of that of like having jobs like that and and you know however big or small the project is it's like you know you you know you work really hard on stuff and you wanted to be in it but that's the show <laughs> yeah it's Kyle's me, not yeah in twenty two Jump Street they filmed that at the Loyola's campus what yeah and I was they did. when you guys were there I was supposed to run naked through the library no. No, I wasn't. But uh, it was something I, I, that, I, I was like, I thought for real. It was something yeah. that I wanted to. Uh, I did want to do that scene. I wanted to do the naked through the library scene, and they, you know, you asked to do a scene. Well, it was up for it was up on the like uh, casting page. I did some. What? I did some background stuff. You did. I did background stuff on Twenty Two Jump That's Street. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. You didn't know that? I know. I know nothing. So you don't ask me to be the right questions. When I don't think I I don't think I like listen. I don't think I care. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Wait, can I say something that's totally off topic? Of yeah. course. Yesterday I ate such a huge dinner that I went home 
laid in bed, fell asleep, woke up, threw up. Whoa. Like, what was, it? What was, what was it? the meal? Not ill, just ate way too much food. What like kind a of- gluttonous fucking whore. Wow. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't call it. Don't what call it. What kind of <laughs> what, was what kind food? of cuisine were we indulging in? So this is this leads me to believe that maybe I have some kind of, some kind of gallbladder issue or something where I can't really digest fatty, you know, de- decadent mm-hmm. meals. Well, it was a spread. I went to this kind of Frenchish, like nice type of restaurant where it's like you had duck. I actually didn't have duck, but it was on mm. the menu. Mm. I had so there were so many things that we ate, and it was just like I was gore- like I was uh, by the time we bought, we got like six plates like of different stuff. Mm-hmm. By the time I was at plate two, midway through plate two, I was like I would stop on a normal night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wait, like what? But what's? Because I, I mean, I went to Paris. Last year, and I don't even. The food was just like, what it bread and cheese? No, it was like croissants. But like, what? Like what? What was it? You want to hear? Yeah. It? Okay. So, like, whatever the first, snails. First meal, first um, plate we got was uh, this really beautifully like thin cut ham. Okay. Mm. That was topped with comped cheese and like this like pear. was this a date. Yeah. Love. And this was like a pear and like with a pear, like kind of like compote thing on top. And you're just, you're, I've never done this before. I'm forking slices of ham (laughs) into my mouth. Like, like, like what? Like as if you're like just eating sliced ham out of the bag and I'm eating, I'm eating (laughs) slices and slices of ham. I was like, "Mm, lovely. And then the second course was duck fat fried potatoes. And and I'm already and then oh my god this was like one of the crazy things they brought out a bowl uh, for like a dipping thing I thought that they said it was parsnip uh, something like a dip or whatever <laughs> halfway through literally taking this duck fat uh uh pota- fried potato dipping it into this like like globs and putting it in my mouth butter he was like he was like. Oh, isn't this amazing how much mayo they give you? <laughs> <laughs> I was oh. eating gobs and gobs of mayo. He was eating, I was eating slices and slices of ham, gobs and gobs wow. of mayonnaise. And then that was two plates in. Then they come with this like really salty salad. Mm. You know, like the kind yeah. of just delicious, like salty, salty salad. I'm, and it's like dill and whatever. You got like, greens. Mm, 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 yeah. I'm loving it. And then after that was, um, what did we get after that? Oh, nudie. You know what nudie is? No. I like the sound of it. It's though. a it's a type of pasta where it's a ball that's filled. It's inside the ball is the filling. So it's not like a ravioli that's flat. It's a ball. Oh, okay. And so it was like, it, it was a, it was like, uh, like fried Diablo kind of type of 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 dish where it's like there was it was crab and ricotta and like it was like a little spicy mm. and this like lemon really like zesty lemon cream sauce and and I mean this at this point it was like I did not I didn't want to eat it yeah yeah but you and did. it tasted. Yeah, and so I'm. It's like one nudi in. I'm like, oh man, that was so good. Like, it's good just to taste it. Then, nah. then I'm eight more nudies. Yeah, I'm eating. You have to. And then after that, fried skate type of fish. Mm-hmm. Fried. I mean that, and then we're like, we're like, damn, that was way too much food. That was way too much food. And there was more. And then this, and then this, and then the waiter comes and is like, "You want dessert?" And I was like, "No, no, no." We see a dessert pass by. Yeah, of course you want dessert. We see a dessert pass by, and she's like, "It's a different stomach." It's like a little cavern in my stomach. Yeah, it opens up. Well, bitch, you're wrong. That cavern, it, (laughs) the cavern doesn't exist. And I threw up. (laughs) (laughs) What was the dessert? (laughs) It was just cake. 
cake. Oh my God. It was amazing cake. It was so amazing. Oh. I was like, I'll have a bite. We were going like, like scrape, scrape, but like at the bottom of the dish. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like, yeah. I was like, I am so crazy. Like that I did that to myself. And oh. I was like, and this is, it's not the first time. It's mm-hmm. not the first time this year that that happened. Mm-hmm. It's not the first time in the last six months that it's happened. But it's, food is, what do you say? It's like, not entertainment, but kind of. Like going out to eat. Yeah. Indulging. Why not? Is this triggering? Not enough. For for, for For somebody that has an issue with that? I don't think so. Okay. No. Because fully, like, I- just tell a story. You know, I I get up, I eat breakfast, I have lunch. Oh, yeah. You know, like, this isn't like a issue I have. No, no, no. Like, you just like- Long going, it's just that I- like I am like really I I, I barfed it all. <laughs> yeah, what can I you do? I couldn't. I was like, I was so mad at myself. Oh. I had the same thing when I was five years old. Oh, when you were five. five. So what am I? But only on barbecue chips. Gross. <laughs> Lay's barbecue chips. <laughs> ate. I as a five year old ate a whole bag because my parents were on a party oh, or yeah. something. <laughs> Threw it up. Can't fucking smell this shit. Yeah. Get it away. Yeah. Get yeah. it away. Same with Lindor. I, I have that with um. I can't walk past there. There is a synthetic scent that they pump in. Like I'm sure of it because it doesn't smell like anything like cookable, live, whatever. The smell of Subway. Oh, if I boy. smell it, I will like on impact, like start to have like my gag reflux, like, like introduced so into like, every, I remember every that I have airport, one. every subways are everywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere. It's like it, because I was young, in a car, I used to have terrible motion sickness and I had a meatball <sighs> sub. And you know when you're a kid and you just like, if I pray this feeling away, it'll go away, but yeah. I'm not gonna do anything about it. So then it's way too late, it's all over your lap. <laughs> you know that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, sorry to get so graphic guys, but I'm sort of coming off, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my body. You're feeling a little fucked today. And I mean, no, no, I'm not feeling fucked at all. No, you're Ill. feeling good. Okay. No, no, no. I'm, I'm. Uh, it was no, it was no illness at all. Okay. It was like, it was like gorging. It was like gorging in the worst possible way. It just yeah. didn't fit. It, it did just, not. It just, fit. yeah. And my tiny little body. It just needed to get out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, that's no- disgusting. Damn. But I really had to tell someone because it was no. just like left. so embarrassing, and I feel like I have to tell people. Did Wait, the person what? that you it's went embarrassing, with? So then I have to tell people. Well, did now the, you're telling did the person you of people. went for dinner with? Did, did they also throw Bar- up? No, they just were like, "Yep." Yeah. They were just like, "Yeah, we ate way too much." <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "I need ginger ale." And then the whole day today, we were like. We gotta change. Like we, like, like, <laughs> no. like, no, no, we did. We were like, we were like, like, we have to make a change. Like, I'm not kidding. Like today, like we like had like a real serious talking. Like he kneeled down beside <laughs> me as I was sitting on the couch, and he was like, you know what, you know what should we do? And we were like, and I was like, or he was like, and then he stood up and he's like, oh, I'm so hungry for lunch. Oh, you want to get um. He was like, oh, I really want a burger. And I was like, okay, like we can get a burger, but I thought we were like maybe going to try and eat healthy. And he was like, oh, fuck. And then we were like, <laughs> what if we tried to go Wednesday to Wednesday? And I'm like, I usually eat like really crunchy, but it's like being in a relationship, like especially with him, he's like a, a super foodie. Like he used to work in restaurants and stuff. And it's like really like the food has to be amazing in order to eat. Like I can't have like subpar stuff. And I'm like, oh, whatever. I could literally like have like a toast with butter. And I'm like, that's a great snack. Mm-hmm. And and um, I was like, and we were like, okay, Wednesday to Wednesday, starting mm-hmm. today, we're not going to have any fried food. Wow. That's no hard. No fried meat. No fried. No fried. So then we were like, okay, okay. Like, we're just going to do that. Like, we're going to be accountable for ourselves. No fried food Wednesday to Wednesday. And he was like, should I throw out your chips? And I was mm. like, and this wasn't, this wasn't like, I'm throwing out your chips. It was like, we were like, fuck, I have so many chips. But What's I actually flavor? only had, I actually only had one bag left. What's your it favorite? It was sour cream and onion, uh. potato chips. And he was like, he was like, but wait, we should just save these because they're so good. And mm-hmm. I was like, Wednesday to Wednesday, they're not going to be good. 
next Wednesday because I've already had them for like two weeks. Okay. I'm like, toss them. They're almost done. Toss them. Wow. Toss them. We're going Wednesday to Wednesday. No, no fried, fried food. food. So what did um, what did you end up having for? for so guys <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday, no fried food. It, what did you end up having for um, lunch. for lunch? Oh God. There's like you could do sushi. You could do <laughs> You're like be so bad. Salad. Salad. No, we didn't do that. Um, Smoothies. Kava. We both had a ham and cheese sandwich. Great. I fuck Great. With that. Okay, that's fine. Ham, totally. I would have okay. avoided in having had ham the night prior. <laughs> I would have maybe gone for like a turkey sandwich. Right. But I, you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm eating sandwiches all the time here. Okay. okay. So that's your New Year's resolution as a couple? <coughs> I'm like. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if it's a resolution. I feel like I'm just trying to see if I can go Wednesday to Wednesday, no fried food. Fuck. Is that a resolution? Or no, is that I think like, that's just that's like a, a fucking. Challenge. That's just like a, a YouTube challenge. Mr. Beast challenge. That's I fucking. I fuck with challenges though. I do challenges all the time to try to get myself to do something. Yeah. Where I'll call it like a 30 day challenge. What's because your Because I'm more likely to do it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It'll just be something like, you know, fucking go to the gym every day for 30 days. Did you do it? I've done it before in the past. Do you see a difference? What? In your body. After 30 days? Uh Oh, big time. Really? Yeah. Enough to keep doing it? I always end up falling off, but I always fall off when I get like sick or something. And then I'm Uh like, uh oh, I can't go to the gym for like a week. And then I'm not sick anymore. And then I'm just like, oh, I'm still tired. I should rest. I shouldn't just like go right back. Totally know that. Then it's been like two and a half weeks. And then it's just hard to go back after that. Mm. I'm on, um, I'm doing a new two week trial at a bar studio right now. Mm. Have you heard of bar? Yeah, totally. It's awesome. I think- Is it really good? I really fuck with it. It's really, (laughs) I think because I'm surrounded by, and maybe a lot of men, just that's, yep. Just just like a a guy's kind of girl. Um, That's the plague (laughs) of our existence. You know, all the brothers and being a guy's gal. And it's just so, they, they put on like fucking Dua Lipa, and there's just like like kind of like rhythmic music the whole time. Yeah. And I like that. And then we're like, you never stop. You're just kind of like stretching or doing little weights or like just moving your body. And also I was in LA last year during this time and I missed, I never, like seasonal depression, I'm sure is a thing. It's so bad it's a right thing. now. I'm, I have for an hour a day, I am deeply, deeply, depressed and sad and I'm not yeah. really like depressed I have anxiety but I'm not usually depressed and then I know what you mean. it's fucking because I think it's like when January starts you're like the first like January 2nd you're like I have so much energy I'm gonna like make this year my year and then all of a sudden it's like the fifth and I'm like I need vitamin D or like I just want to I don't know I'm Wolf not gonna yourself. say <laughs> like not not yeah, but yeah, like yeah. you know it's just really really hard and I was, I've been crying I, today was my first day not crying in like a week. Oh God, it really, it really do be like that. And I had, I had a real weird, um, like I had a real weird thing of like a month ago, I got sick. I got this like weird fever kind of thing, but like nothing more, but like low grade for a week. And it really, and then I got hives, full body hives for like eight days and it, Shut me the fuck down. Dan, dan, dan. I had to be on steroids. I had to like do whatever. I was like some weird when was fucking this? thing. This was like um over cr- Christmas. Oh my God. Okay. And um uh and like thankfully I'm all better with all like my you know, my shit and everything. I feel uh, for like the last couple of weeks I've been feeling like great. But then I got hit right after it, PMS. And let me tell you, for mm. me, it ain't PMS, it's PMDD. <laughs> the menstrual dysphoric disorder. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And so I was coming off, I, it was like three weeks of like brutal brain torture. And and then and then it starts to look like this. Mm. I was crying like in the shower, like where it's like, mm. where it's like, you know, like a wet Muppet, like being like, <laughs> Like, like that. And I live alone so I can like moan and stuff. It was like, yeah. it's like, was brutal, like brutal. Like, 
And I'm coming out, out of out of even that because then PMS turns into period. Yeah. And I'm like, God, this month was a real sham, right? <gasps> and that was like your time off. It was totally my entire time off. I'm so sorry. It, it, it must crazy? be your body's mm-hmm. like, now I can rest. And then that's when it's just like, I'm going to fall apart. That's totally a real thing. But it, it, but part of what made, I think this particular PMS like thing, which I usually have like a pretty bad issue with anyway, what made it so much worse was just like, it, it's like you go outside and it, you feel like you're in a nineties movie about like a guy who's depressed. <laughs> It's just like, uh, 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 coffee, please. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. It's just brutal. I like, know. What is that? It's funny. And then like, everyone in LA is like, that's a motor on the dance floor. <laughs> yes. Because well, right? even when you're, because when you're in those moments, I had one yesterday, I had three yesterday. And I, and at the time you're like, um, this is me forever. It's me forever. And then now yeah. you're like laughing about it and you're like, okay, I just have to remember that like, I'll be like telling the story and be like, right, it'll be okay. But it's hard but, to know if you ever can tell the story because you don't know if you're ever going to feel better. But you, yeah. do. You, do, you do. You do. You do. You tend to. You do. Even yesterday, I I think, well, I told you as you came in the door that I had a, a bit of a work breakup mm. yesterday. And it was like, at 4 p.m. I was like bawling on the couch because I was like, I'm never going to feel normal. And dark, I- Dark, totally dark outside. Oh yeah, 4 p.m. F- yeah, and I feel, it's kind of Kyle. I was like, I feel like my, I'm like sick in the head. Like my brain is just like producing no serotonin. And then I, we started working and I was like, okay, I feel like better. And I was like working on other things. I got a call about something and I was like feeling good. Then I got a, another call, work breakup happens bawling again Uh Um, and then in the shower I like took a shower right after and I was like just like crying in the shower listening to Ryan Beatty and like having like my like villain origin story kind of like moment of like yeah they're gonna fucking see yeah just wait yeah exactly but you wait you're like just wiping your pussy down like so um I feel great just so you guys no I know Kyle's you're are you doing okay I'm killing it right now where are you from Ohio Cincinnati Kind of gray? Sometimes in the winter. I feel good right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. You're really I'm rocking this shit. I'm rocking this Kyle's winter. Kyle's stable though in general. You like it? I like the cold. Mm-hmm. Take cold showers. That's so good for you. Fuck. It's always like a guy that's like kind of like pretty good. That's like, I take cold showers and I'm like, that's good. Not, and you I, hey, off. The whole shower is not cold. I will say start that shit hot as hell. And then just at the end for like two minutes, let it go cold. It really does. It's life changing. Good stuff for you. Yeah. It's awesome. I just can't. When it's warm and you're, I'm, there's no way I'm making it cold. That's part have, of it. You should That's have a little rascal it. come in, somebody around here, come in, tip it cold right when you aren't expecting it. That started actually. A, a little rascal. Michael. <laughs> as a 30 day challenge. My oh. cold shower thing. Oh, really? Yes. I was like 30 days, I, every shower that I take, mm-hmm. I'll finish it cold. What are finish the, it. What finish are the it. benefits of- Don't know. What, what, but you didn't feel a difference. Because in the gym, you felt whatever, yeah, stronger, I don't know. It's just healthier. like- um, uh, Clarity, mental clarity. I don't even know. It just kind of like wakes you up, just gets your blood flowing. Like it raises your body temperature. So especially if you do it in the morning, you're like way more awake and alert at those times. But also it's kind of just like a- willpower thing every time i do it i don't want to do it and then you do it and you're like i did that yeah uh, oh here's something does this ever happen to you where i sometimes i'm like a huge rut mentally i'm like depressed about something whatever then i'm walking down the street i almost get hit by a bike adrenaline hits through my mm. whole body and i'm like i'm here i'm alive i'm good i'm like get somewhere near death like get so, go in a pickle get in a sticky situation yeah. that could really potentially be bad mm-hmm. you'll wake the shit up <laughs> and you'll just <laughs> rewire the brain <laughs> it really like it sends this whole new chemistry <laughs> it's it's a whole new chemistry that yeah. unlocks it's i i had that um cuz when i first moved here i was like which i still i think that's also what i'm dealing with is like just missing 
people who know me, like missing home and missing friends and being close. Cause I was always like an hour and a half from my family. Uh, yeah, that's hard. And now I'm like, even just like, no, everyone's like, yeah, it's an hour flight, but I'm like crossing the border, like knowing there's a border really just, I could be anywhere in the world. And that just like fucks with me. And where's it going with this? Oh yeah. I was at going, I was going to opening a, a bank account, American bank account when I first got here. And same thing, I was like, I was like, <laughs> swinging crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it. And then the security guard was like the nicest man in the world. And he's talking to everyone. And I was like, and then I open up my TikTok and I see like, I don't know, someone was just like raising money for, for something. And like, that just has it harder than I do. And it, it snapped me. And I was like, mm. what about, life is beautiful and I love it. And yeah. And then- well, yeah, it's just nice. I think for me, perspective sometimes helps, not all the time, but it does sometimes help. If if your life is like, you know, kind of not like, you would hate your life more if it was nothingness, which is usually more relaxing or less stressful or less heartache but I think you would hate your life more if it was devoid of the hardness. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I've reminded myself a lot that in the last six months too, or like the, you know, last since like starting working and being like, you would, if you just like did the safe thing or like the comfortable thing, like you don't have all this hard shit, but you wouldn't, you would still not be like happy go lucky. Like it's like, mm -hmm. there's never going to be like a hundred percent of the time altitude cruising. Yeah. And so, okay. So you're doing the hard thing and you're in the weird place and you have a hard moment. That's still going to be, I feel like that's a meaningful life. Truly. It's a really I, I was... meaningful life to be, if it's hard, that's kind of meaningful. I've it's, been thinking about purpose. you specifically with, you know, we're kind of run down, I'd say recently of like all the things, you know, running a business and try kind of in this moment of transition of everything. It's just hard. Like we're like probably not as hard as, you know, your job, but like working till 11 p.m. every night and just waking up and right away there's like this stress and anxiety and like every day I get this like stress headache from mm -hmm. grinding my teeth and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all these things. And I just like, I can't, it just, just making me think like, I don't know if I could ever do your, your job of like, holy shit, is it, how is that? And how are you like managing the you stress could. of it? You could. Yeah. I mean, anybody like, there are people that do that job too, who have had like no way less crazy experience in this world, like in this crazy industry and, you know, are doing like, they're okay. Everyone everyone has their own vices there of like, you know, what, what you need to do to cope. And like, it's weird hours and it's stressful. It's whatever. But then at the end of the day, I am, I'm always thinking like, this is like silly job for goofy people. It is and silly it's job like, for goofy people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's and like, see with our, yeah. yeah, that yeah. can't be, like whatever it is, like taking it to heart or anything is just like not for the hours or whatever. It's like I get to, you get to have so, you you get to have so much playful fun time too mm. with just like funny people, like being around funny people. And it's like, and just there's a lot of, you know, anguish that comes with the job or whatever. But it's like, I don't know. I think that everyone has the capability to like really go after something like crazy or if feels like outside of your comfort zone or something, because it's like, I don't know, your body does like a thing. Totally. It just, like, does a thing. And I mean, you're, yeah, like mm -hmm. whatever, but it's like the, um, you just do yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know. That was, yeah. When I shot my show, same thing. There was like nights where I couldn't even sleep because I was just so stressed and like, Number one on a, oh yeah. <laughs> it's a poppy is kind of, and also thank you to our sponsor, Poppy. Poppy. Um, they did send them to us. So that's really nice. We didn't thank buy you. them. 
Um, they sent them. <laughs> them. They sent, but they are. I, I am a huge fan, and I made sure that we got some. Um, yeah, I, sure. I, I was like, uh, had this show on my shoulders is what it felt like, or at least like a leadership role. And I, there were nights where I just like wouldn't sleep at all and I was like how the fuck am I gonna go tomorrow and do a 16 hour day yeah and have all these and it was like a very dialogue heavy show Mm -hmm. and somehow I did it all Mm -hmm. and it was like totally fine and And I did it and then you have like these crazy memories of your life and Mm -hmm. then you think about it's like what if I died what if I died tomorrow Mm -hmm. and it's like you know what did you do what did you what did you like even if it's not even if like I feel like maybe if just, you know, whoever is listening, whoever's listening, this is for you. Even if you're not trying to do like whatever this job is, whatever, if there's something like really interesting that you can do like soon, but you're like, eh, I'm too tired or whatever. And not like working out or whatever, but it's like driving, you know, to a different state to go see like a a weird old colonial town with like your friend, your old friend, just do it. Mm -hmm. Like, like even if you feel like, damn, I don't want to get on that train or this is going to be long or it's cumbersome, whatever. It's like, it's like that's just what this whole thing is about. Like this whole thing isn't about like getting enough sleep and having enough take time to be restful. Sometimes it is having those days are like amazing or having those weeks or whatever are amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's like, if you're not at like optimal biohacking, you know, speed, I feel like that's okay. And usually means that you're like making interesting memories in your life. Yeah. Just go for it. And just go. Just go for it. Just like enjoy your life and like fucking like who gives a fuck what I'm in thanks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're totally, totally right. I like, yeah, I used to really like as a teenager not be afraid of like death. Like I just was like, I'll die whenever I'm supposed to fucking die. Mm-hmm. Got myself in some situations in Cuba, but- um, ah, <laughs> yes. ah, in Cuba. But we can't go there. For another story. Or actually, I think we can Americans now. can't. I think now uh-huh. we can. I don't think you can. Maybe. We you can go, go for there. study. Oh, okay. But if you go through like a program that you find, like there's like, you know, travel program stuff, like, and you say yeah. that you're going for like, as a photography thing, you can go. You I'd can't just go. Damn. You guys yeah. want to go? I've we been. To- but you had an issue. Havana. I didn't have an Havana. issue. I just was going off the resort. So you and were at a resort. Havana, I was at a resort. <laughs> no, but then I would go off it every night. Oh my god, yeah. you little rascal. I'd go out every night and I'd um have some adventures with some friends. A little some, Cuban man. There were, there were some friends and, and it was Obama. it was really fun. But every like honestly on that trip I was I was eighteen with my best friend Sam and my parents just like my parents are I really didn't have a curfew or I've never been grounded. Okay, like yeah, that was their either. yeah, their their style of of uh, parenting, which I think is the right yep. one. Cause yep. it's European. Yeah. My, my parents are very European and they just don't, they're like, go have fun. I'm like, okay. And uh, yeah, almost there, there was a specifically this one time where we're like, we just ordered a taxi. And we're like, we want to go to a club. And we just like showed up at this okay. club and it was like, just old Cuban men, no lights, any like just a random street, like nothing going Weird. on. And we and uh, Sam and I were, were we were just like scared of our out of our minds. We're like it was just like I think it was like a burlesque, maybe a um, strip strip club. club. Oh, that sounds about right. And just like a bunch of like red velvet chairs and mm. curtains and. And Sam's like, what the fuck are we going to do? And I was just like really cocky at this age. I don't know. I just like was like, I was like, we'll figure it out. And I went up to these guys, men, old men, and I asked for a cigarette. And so Sam and I were just smoking the cigarette. And she's like, what are we going to do? We had no phones. Like we didn't leave, bring our phones. Why? It was a different time. It was a different time. And, and they didn't work. Oh, but, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's so, why. Yeah, and <laughs> so we're smoking these cigarettes and a miracle comes along where this, a Vespa comes 
like what is that what it's called? Yeah. Like on the, the bikes? Yeah. yeah. Or not a Vespa, like on a uh, a taxi where it's like oh, yeah. like a man's on the bike and then there's, there's like a seat in the back. Too, oh yeah, yeah. A um, love seat. Uh, what is that called? Duncan wanted to do it in New Orleans for a second. Oh really? Pedicab. Pedicab. Didn't even know they existed there. And like, or I don't even know, like it was like truly like midnight mm. and nothing. Desolate. And so we, just, we like, get in. White night. We get in and Sam was like, I think crying at this point. <laughs> and I was like, and he's like, where do you want to go? I was like, another club. <laughs> 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 and then we got to another club and it another was like club. really. Bus. And, Bus. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, and it was so fun. And then it was like totally fine. But and there was like a couple other stories that just like we. You could have been lost out there. Yeah. 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 I just sleeping on a bench. I almost, so I slept on a, slept cold and wet on a bench in Pisa one time in Italy. Whoa. Whoa. How? There was other people there, but it was really, it was scary because it's very like, it was like 4 a.m. I'm sleeping on and pizza train because we fucked our train things got fucked and oh. it, yeah it was crazy but you know the hell I'll never forget those moments I guess <laughs> no you won't you will right. never forget those moments those moments yep in life come on okay we forgot to do this thing yeah I was just gonna I was gonna make a joke about I was gonna say well that's the intro so that's- let's get into it you guys wanna get into it <laughs> what's the thing <laughs> What's the Let's get into the, it now. We have this final thing where we are. Our, our, we typically uh, start. We start like this. We start typically. like this, but it's the end of the show and we'll do it this way. This um, works. If you're down for it. We we have this, the only running bit that we have is that we thank our uh, Patreon knights. Those are the people that uh, really, really support us. And we turn on <laughs> medieval music and then we uh, we thank them. Oh. And then we then we can go into like maybe like an improvised like medieval scene. Oh, okay, cool. And then that's it. And then we'll fucking okay, cool. we'll call it a night and we'll go home. So typically night. Connery will add some music right here. Yeah, thank you, Connery. And we can read, we could do like- <gasps> All of those names? I know, we so do this it is, really fast. This week, I know, fuck me, I know. For whatever reason, this And it's amazing. We did not, this this is new, by the way. That yeah. There's this Congrats, you guys. Um, that's that's awesome. awesome. So- That's awesome. Maybe we, I'll try to do it as fast as humanly possible, but also- Sure, but also, yeah, okay. Yeah. Just go ahead, yes. get into it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Mm, no, I had it, what was my voice? There you go. I did a different voice. I'm, I'll try a different voice. Um, oh. Mm, no. Mm. <laughs> um. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you everybody for joining us today. Thank you everybody for joining us today. We to to thank the Nevermind Night. I can start this okay? Oh my god. No. Sarah Dahlstrom, Finn Bruce, Zan, Eric Burke, Sir Evan Stark, Hayden Coon, James Dell, Seth Pedraza, Lucy Walker Cox, Adrian Tabiki, Charlie, Chris Donia, fuck me, Cashmere, Cashmere, shall we see, Aaron Rod- Ruggiero, R- 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 yeah. Ashlyn, AOP Poo Sponsor, Bedsick, <laughs> Carson, Greg, Human Warrior, Ch- uh, Jamo Yamo, K Chase, Lily One of One, M3, Michaela, uh, Nelson Brooks, Seth Fowler, Deals for Reels, House and Bailey, Bailey, Fredika, Ethan Rebel, Martin Legrand, Bradley Hood, Harder, uh, Jesse Lucas, Catherine Fell, Billy Morley, Nos, comment down below, Ben and Kion, Anastasia, uh, Carlotta, oh, Arsenberg, oh, holy fucking shit, you guys! Lydia Crow, Adam Yomus, Yomus, Anonymous, Anonymous, Bell, Bella Chelinski, Billy Arm, uh, Chelly Lang, Diana Cre- Crazy Mint, uh, Bella, Qu- er, uh, Bella, holy shit, Emma Quimby, Haley Jeffers, Hive Mind Riley, Hot Sauce Haley, Joshua De Gosman. <laughs> Holy fucking ass. <laughs> Kelly Beach, Lady Night Banshee, Louie, 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 Mansa, Wizard, Mark Keating, Sophie K- Karankulski, and Yaza Das Dasinaki. Aye. <sighs> Aye, peasant. <laughs> yes, my lord. 
What is the... What is this list that she read me? Oh, well, you see, it is but the, mm, the greatest knight and the bravest warriors of our time. Duh! Sorry to interrupt, but there seems to be a lot of dead people down by the street in Fourth, fourth Cobble Road. <sighs> King, if I can call you that. You may. Don't you think you could maybe spare a few coins for the people down at North Cobble Road who are dying in the plague? King, King, you should do as as the King's right hand. Mm, king, I think this will be a great thing for publicity and also for the for everyone to really like you because you've been having sort of a bad rep as of recently. No offense. <laughs> it's true. When you showed everybody your weenie, it was far bigger than anybody expected. But nobody wanted to see it. Nobody wanted to see it. I... <laughs> He's got a the, tickle. The town was asking for it. <gasps> well, that's not quite the, what we want to say consensually. No, 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 no. God, I hope nobody's recording this. I mean, writing this down because it is, of course, medieval times. Well, you could record with a pen. That's right. Mm, please, no, scratch it. Mm, erase that. Yes, thank you. Hush, he hush, ye. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Fucking shit. Tell me more about this plague, eh? Oh, well, it first happened with me friend Samuel Clempton. His right next door neighbour started growing these purple boils at his eyelids. The purple boils splat open, but it's sort of pancakey mix fell out of it. Blue green pancakey mix fell out of these bo purple boils out of his <laughs> eyelids. And these things, this cakey blue purple, started oozing down his whole body. It was like acid. Cut, cut up his whole body with the heat, and his whole body burned alive. And they said we won't touch his dead body because he's probably got the plague. Turns out he's got something, and he was porking the old lady. He was porking an old lady. Down the street. Enough. <laughs> yum. Sorry. Yum. Enough, child. I mean, gross. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that there's a plague in the kingdom? A pancake plague, me lord. <laughs> me thinks. Oh, it's not pancakes. It's just the consistency of the pancake. of the of the splooge popping out of these boy or so it reminds me of a thick type of pancake mix pre pre cooked hmm suddenly I'm very hungry <laughs> for old women <laughs> old women too hmm for so he's fucking in your lady you say yeah not my my style but she did have quite a pair of knockers on her ass hmm <clears throat> the king wouldn't know anything mm. about that would he the king is a a virgin Hush, why, why, hush. Do you think, why do you think he showed everyone his fucking large fucking Hush, cock? you. <laughs> I. Oh, God. Explain to me, young child, how is it that gold will fix these sick people? I'm not a child, I'm eight years old. I'm sorry. That's, that's middle age. Your stature. That's middle aged. That's. That's middle-aged in medieval times. Your stature <laughs> confused me for that of a little boy. Well, I'm not a little boy. I'm eight years old. Hi. What do you ask? How gold? How is gold, How is gold going, going to, going to fix, fix a plague? The plague? Well, well, see, so there's a, oh, uh, oh, uh, there's a, uh, apothecary down the street. Uh, Near the bridge, and uh, seems so, like a silver boy's making this up. No, no, <laughs> seems like a silver boy's pulling this out of an ass. No, 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 no. I just forgot for a second that I was talking to the king, and then I got a little wee nervous. Okay, <laughs> so uh, I was first strike. Hmm. We have strikes. 
Or yes. may I continue, or bitch? Or I'll behead you. This bitch can't behead. <laughs> She's got arms of a pterodactyl. I mean, a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> and yes, I did find dinosaurs. They're, yeah, you want to know what they are? What? <laughs> They're these things that before we existed, I, I found these bones. They're the biggest things you've ever seen in your life. Bone the size of 20 of the king's wees. What? <laughs> thicker too. Barely, but thicker. Impossible, but fine. Go on. How will gold fix this mm, p plague, you, pancake plague you speak of? Well, the plague is sexual, as you know, so trying to get people to stop porking in the whorehouse, but that's tough for the guys who are addicted. So I thought we could go down to the apothecary and buy this type of potion that's like a little like a little bit of poison and we give these guys who are addicted to sex it's a little bit of poison so just to slow them down for a bit you won't be that horny if you know you're throwing up and pooping and you don't you're not gonna get a good shag in if you're throwing up and pooping in your house you're not gonna ask, yes. you're not gonna yes. go down the whole house so maybe it could it could halt it all makes the, sense it makes sense yes well well mm. My liege, my lord, how long, how is it that you've gone 60 plus years without porking anybody in your whole life? What, what is it that keeps you celibate and a virgin, you fucking freak? <laughs> These are false accusations. I have... I read your diary. I have plenty. <laughs> no, you haven't. E, I write it, because you can't write. No. <laughs> yes. <sighs> I record Gee. everything too. Boy. I'm beginning to think that first a, a plague in me kingdom. Now you're telling me that we're finding bones the size of bones the size of tree trunks. If you'd call your we a tree trunk, <laughs> then yes. And now you're expecting me to give you gold to poison <laughs> the male kingdom. Yeah. I don't know if this job's fit for me. Well, yeah, that's been clear for a while. Aye. Oh, fine. I'll you know do what? It. <laughs> I'll be king. Is that what you, you say? You mean that? Yes. I mean that. I think that. I've changed my voice about 35 times in this music character. I'm going to be king. I can ride. I can fuck. And I also have a PhD in medicine. That's right. What do you think? Do you think medicine could help? I don't know what it is. I usually do prayer and leeches. Yes. The thing that keeps people from fucking... Mm, it's a little thing from the future. Called video games. <laughs> and and scene. <laughs> Wow. Doctor of video games. Yes. Western medicine in a nutshell. Yes. If you play video games, you're probably Was fucking that historic? Version accurate about the dinosaurs how long when did we when did we discover dinosaurs far after that kyle really yes yes how long did it take for us to discover dinosaurs so long we needed like forklifts you needed to yeah. like dig something i don't know you don't think at any point in time they were like they're like digging and they're like what oh the fuck is this shit oh you're probably right that I they think... did but they probably thought it was some act of god or something yeah full shit like fucking that oh shit god. okay well anyway um thank you so much for coming on Hopefully it was okay and so we got deep. Probably, yeah. The things I would like to cut, I'll t I'll tell Connor after. Great, Connery. We'll, Connor. Connery. <laughs> we'll cut it. Um, <laughs> we'll fucking cut that shit. Um, Maybe. So if it's yeah. cut, if anything's cut right now, we're at an hour twenty three. So you know, if it gets to about a ten minute episode, that's not my fault. <laughs> no, it's just yeah, it's, it's probably just the shit that just the shit that happens when you're bouncing around round with your friends. Yeah, it's, and hey, we don't cut. Well, we can. We can. We, but we absolutely don't. can. <laughs> but hey, we don't. But if you every no, actually, but if you have to, we're gonna post it. and We're not gonna fucking ask you about it. Um, no, thank you so much, everyone. And Chloe Trose, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. And also, we'll see you guys next I time. I forgot that that was on. Oh, I right. hope it's still on. I, it might be, and if it's not. <laughs>